MT is cheaper than it's ever been this time of year. I'm on safenbamt.com, and right now you see that, uh, well, this is for 2K22. For 2K22, you can get 100K for $2.30. It's $2.30 for 100K on 2K22. So why would it be less expensive? Now I switch to 2K23, and actually the price goes down to $2.04. It's cheaper on the newer game. I don't understand that. It's like people are scared to buy MT to the to, to the point where they have to drop the price to an unbelievable bargain basement price. Uh, I'm doing the calculations here, so that means that uh, twenty dollars and forty cents should get me a million, right? There, there's go. Twenty dollars and forty cents gets you a menu, a million. So that means right now I can buy this game for seventeen bucks. I think it's sixteen dollars. The digital deluxe version of this game is sixteen dollars right now, and then I can spend another twenty dollars and get me a million MT. And I can catch up to everyone in the game right now. And if I didn't have the game yesterday, I can be right where you at. If not further ahead than you right now for 36 bucks. Me personally, I bought the $150 version of this game. I wanted the uh, NBA League Pass. And I wanted all the VC that came with it. I wanted all the clothes for the park. I, I wanted the whole bundle. I wanted everything. You know, I got both versions with it. You know, the PS4 and the PS5 version. It was worth it to me. But now that I see, I could have just waited. I could have just waited, spent $16 to get the game, and spent another 20 bucks, and I could have been right there where everybody else was. That's if I'm only going to play my team. If I'm going to play park, I might have wanted to get a head start because it has sucked to be coming into the park right now this late into the uh, year, and everybody else already has their bills maxed out. But that's, not, that's neither here nor there. We're talking about the MT right now, and this is extremely cheap. You can spend 20 bucks and get a million. A million. Right now, I'm going to go ahead and look. So that means with a million, you can come in here and go on a hell of a shopping spree. That's one hell of a shopping spree with a million MT. Like I said, you can be further ahead than just about 80% of the community in one day. I'm estimating about 80% of the community. If you were to purchase the game for $16 and then spend another 20 on a million MT for 36 bucks total, you are leapfrogging a lot of people <laughs> wow you can really get you a, a nice you probably can buy um some of the i would say you oh look at this Jokic. you could definitely get Jokic. let's see what he's going for you probably can get Jokic and fill it out with fill them out with a bunch of good bench players siakam's not a bad card those that splash set is kind of cheap actually i don't have siakam you know what since I see them here, I think I'm going to go ahead and buy them. It might have been a cheaper one in here. I may have passed them up, but I'm going to buy this one because I see it. I think he's worth 17 k and I think he's going to be a good addition to my squad. So I'm going to go ahead and throw him on there. And guys, think, I mean, just think about that, man. 20 bucks for a meal MT. Is it worth the ban? Is it worth the ban? If you don't have a ban already, your first ban is going to be 10 days. I think $20 for a meal is worth the 10 days. I know a lot of people that already took the, uh, after they after they got their first 10 day ban, there's several people who just went ahead and accepted the 30 day ban. So I'm just going to buy as much MT as possible and accept the ban. So if you want to do that and go that route, uh, this is the best time to do it. It's never been cheaper. That's all I got for now, guys. Until the next time I have something for you, it's been me, your boy, EC Rallo. And I'm out. Well, I didn't get that card out of the auction house yet. Hold on. I did my outro a little bit prematurely. Thank you. Come again.